In this video, we will create a new carpet in our product database. First, click on the Start menu, then go to Database, then open the Product slash Services Database tab. Double click on Carpet to expand it, then double click on the Indoor Carpet folder. Click on New SKU Style button to pop out a new item window. Because carpet is a roll good, we will choose carpet as our item type. Enter the name or style code of the carpet. Please note that this name must be unique over the whole database. Then select the display color and click OK. Next we will cover the item properties. Layout type. From the layout type pull down menu, select first from carpet, vinyl, tile, hardwood, laminate, labor, freight, and add-on item. Mouse over any item from layout type option list to see its corresponding product applications. Here we will choose carpet for our layout type. Unit name. We will select our unit name based on the layout type. Here we will select square yardage for our carpet. Estimating width is reduced roll width used for our layout estimating to accommodate trimming on both sides of a carpet roll. Usually we will put in a number smaller than our carpet width. Roll length. Roll length is our standard roll length. The default number is 250 feet. If you leave it at zero, the program will treat the roll length as infinity when estimating. Here we will use the default of 250 feet. Maximum roll cut length is the maximum length of each roll cut. cut margin and max T-seams. The cut margin is cut or trim margin added to each cut piece or fill piece. Usually we will set it to 3 inches so that the program will apply it to both the width and the length at layout estimating time. Max T-seams is the maximum number of T-seams to be placed in a room. If you set it to zero there will be no T-seams when estimating, but you can manually add in T-seams on a per room basis. In our next video, we will cover how to set up a vinyl product.